There are multiple steps in the adoption process of a new technology. Electric cars have already passed the stage when young and wealthy innovators were ready to cash out for the ultra-expensive supercars. Then early adopters were buying short-range and questionably-looking Nissan Leafs. But finally, we're at the point when the majority of shoppers are starting to pay attention. 2021 will be the year when the world's favorite body style will get electrified, and crossover SUVs will set on a path of establishing their domination in the EV business. If you want to be the first to learn about the newcomers, subscribe to Automotive Territory and enjoy the ride! Hyundai Kona Electric Following in the footsteps of its gasoline siblings, the 2022 Kona Electric boasts a similarly revised exterior with a few EV-specific updates. The closed-off grille is redesigned, there are new LED DRLs, and of course the asymmetric charging port is still here. Other changes include sharper headlamps, stretched rear lights, and a one-inch longer body. No changes happen on the drivetrain front, so depending on the market, there are two available systems. A 136 HP motor made it to a 39.2 kWh pack, or a stronger unit with 204 ponies juiced by a 64 kWh battery. The latter offers up to 258 EPA miles, or 484 WLTP kilometers. Once you slide inside the cabin, you should notice the all-new 10.25-inch driver's instrument cluster, an updated infotainment software, with Blue Link and Hyundai Life Services. BMW iX Unlike the upcoming iX3 crossover that has an IC counterpart, the all-new iX is a purposefully built electric vehicle that has no analogs on the BMW roster. The newcomer is underpinned by the cluster architecture fitted with the brand's fifth-generation eDrive technology. It is a dual-motor all-wheel drive setup that peaks at 500 horses. The motors are juiced by a 100 kWh battery that has excellent energy efficiency of 21 kWh per every 62 miles. The pack allows the AX to cover 300 EPA miles, and it supports fast charging at 200 kW, recovering to 80% in 40 minutes. The car also offers an 11 kW wall box option for home charging in 11 hours. Inside, the AX gets a typical BMW premium interior that is, however, performed using only sustainable materials and is dominated by a curved dashboard with two screens, 12.3 and 14.9 inches. Volkswagen ID4 The second MBB platform offering from VW is aggressively priced at $32,500 after incentives which allows it to compete not only against other EVs, but rather go straight after the segment's leaders like RAV4, Honda CRV, or even Volkswagen's own Tiguan. The already sold out 201 HP rear wheel drive first edition model will be the first to hit the road. Then follows the Pro Trim, and shortly after, we will welcome a dual motor all wheel drive version with 302 HP output. The initially confirmed specs are 250 miles EPA range for the 82 kWh battery with 0 to 80% recharge of 40 minutes. The first buyers of the ID4 will get three years of complementary charging, which is a courtesy of the Electrified America EV charging subsidiary. The ID4 offers aesthetically minimalistic yet tech rich package with such features as ID Light, Hello ID voice control, IQ Drive semi autonomy digital dash, and a 10 to 12 inches infotainment. Become the supporter of Electric Revolution by smashing the like button, watching this video till the end, and participating in the conversation below. Let's keep going! Fisker Ocean Seven years since Henrik Fisker's karma went up in flames, the Danish designer is making a so far glorious comeback. This time, he's accompanied by his wife Gita Gupta Fisker, who acts as a co-founder and CFO of the new company. The power couple went public in 2020, and today the market capitalization of Fisker Inc. exceeds $4 billion. The first product of the enterprise is the Ocean Crossover, expected to become the most affordable long-range model in the segment. 
its 80 kilowatt hour battery should be good for 300 miles. And depending on your needs, either a single or a dual motor propulsion system with 2.9 seconds 0 to 60 acceleration for the latter. The Ocean gets the latest infotainment tech, all vegan interior, optional full length solar roof, and is likely to be eligible for complementary charging via the Electrified American network. Lincoln Co. Zero Concept Launched back in 2016, Lincoln Co. is a subsidiary of the Chinese Geely and a corporate sibling of Volvo. Usually, the company builds its vehicles on the basis of the Volvo CMA platform. But this will change with the arrival of their first Zero Emissions crossover in 2021. It will debut a dedicated architecture that will be used for Geely's future electric vehicles. The model comes powered by a 100 kWh battery pack that feeds an undisclosed number of motors. It should also accelerate to 60 in under 4 seconds and drive for 400 miles on a full charge. In terms of the exterior design, the Zero blends a sporty crossover with an elegant sedan and gets a full-width LED taillight, a spoiler and a sloping glass roof. The cabin specs have not been announced yet, but you can notice a large central screen infotainment, a digital dashboard and leather interior. Audi Q4 Sportback e-tron Unlike the original e-tron SUV, this compact version is being developed on the VW modular platform and will become the first out of three electric Audis mounted on the MEB by 2025. This model is an expected follow-up to a less sporty standard e-tron Q4 concept from the 2019 Geneva, and both models are not scheduled to begin production in 2021. The familiar single or dual motor powertrain is tuned to output up to 306 horsepower and 339 pound-feet of torque, propelling the car from 0 to 60 in 6.3 seconds. The expected real range can reach 250 miles for the all-wheel drive or 280 if you choose a rear-drive version. The cockpit of this model was simplified to feature just two screens instead of the usual trio on the modern Audis. There is an augmented reality head-up display with sat-nav, and the upholstery appears to be made of sustainable materials. Nissan Aria The LEAF and ENV200 were the groundbreaking EVs in their own age, but the time has come for a new era of Nissan intelligent mobility. The Cupa SUV Aria sits on a brand new platform finally gets liquid battery cooling and abandons the angular design language from the brand's previous cars. It wears new thin LED headlights, a fog grille with an illuminated Nissan badge, and a premium-looking single-light bar taillight. To suit any customer, the Aria comes powered either by single-motor or dual-motor all-wheel drive system, netting from 218 to 394 horses. There are also two battery options. The smaller 63 kWh pack offers 250 miles, while the larger 87 kWh one is good for 340. The crossover has a lounge-like interior that seats 5 and features a dual-screen digital cockpit, haptic controls and the ProPilot 2.0 system that enables hands-free driving. Rivian R1S Though we all hoped that the Rivian SUV will make its first deliveries by the end of 2020, the model still belongs to the bracket of upcoming EVs, since its release was postponed until June 2021. As expected, it will be riding on the brand's proprietary skateboard platform that includes a carbon fiber and steel reinforced underbody, independent air suspension, hydraulic roll control system, battery pack, and a quad motor powertrain. The latter consists of two dual-motor drive units at each axle, with a maximum output of 415 horsepower front and 420 at the rear. The range capacity of the battery reaches 300 miles, and it can be recharged at the rate of 200 kW. Rivian has already announced three equipment variants for the R1S. The initial launch edition, plus the Explorer and Adventure, that will be following it. The model will be also offered with a 5 or 7 seat layout. Skoda 
Skoda ENIAC IV. The first electric SUV by Skoda confirms that the Czech are firmly set on moving up the market. Futuristic but at the same time more reserved than the playful VW ID4, the CV pioneers a new illuminated crystal grille design, wears sharp LED headlights and softens its silhouette with a slightly curved roofline. Wheel options vary from 19 to 21 inches and could be had in EV-specific aerodynamic styling. There are three initial trim levels, IV60, IV80 and IV80 Founders Edition. The names roughly correspond to the installed battery sizes. The 62 and 82 kWh packs provide 242 through 316 WLTP miles. Size-wise, the ENIAC IV is similar to the company's Kodiak model. It sits 5 and offers 585 liters of boot space. Finally, the SUV gets a 13-inch central screen, an augmented reality head-up display, and a sustainable interior with natural and recycled materials. Cadillac Lyric After GM's sudden acceptance of electrification, the company pledged to bring 30 new EVs to the market by 2025. And the first among them will be this premium crossover. Announced to arrive nine months ahead of the initial schedule, the production-ready Lyric should now hit the US in 2022. The crossover rides on a specially developed Altium platform with single rear-wheel drive or dual all-wheel drive configurations, and it utilizes GM's new battery technology. Confirmed to offer over 300 miles of range, the Lyric's battery has 100 kWh capacity, uses 70% less rare earth materials than a traditional lithium ion pack, and is compatible with the level 2 19 kW chargers as well as 150 kW DC stations. Being a part of the GM's luxury offensive, the five-seater is expected to offer a quiet ride, plush seating, a state-of-the-art augmented reality head-up display, a 33-inch screen, and an AKG-19 speaker audio. Lucid Gravity Lucid has already swept everyone off their feet with the longest-range electric car, the luxury air sedan. Next up on the agenda of the prodigious Californian startup is the Sport Utility Vehicle 2.0, scheduled to arrive in 2023. The Gravity V will be based on the Lucid Electric Advanced Platform, or Leap in Short. It follows the space concept approach of maximizing interior to sit seven passengers. And surely, it will possess all the advantages of Lucid's powerful and long-range proprietary electric drivetrain. Are you ready to become a member of the early majority of electric car adopters? Support the electric revolution by liking this video and subscribing to Automotive Territory. Leave your thoughts about the new models in the comments below and proceed to watching other episodes about the EV transport by clicking on the icons on the screen. May the torque be with you!